Uh, she asked me um, if uh, I was a Yale student. I responded, yes, I was, and reaching for my ID, she started screaming and saying, basically, um, if you're lost and you don't know where the common room is, you must be an intruder. You need to get out. You're making me uncomfortable. Um, you need to leave. Uh, confused, I turned my back and went to the base of the staircase, and she was on top of the 12th floor screaming at me still. Did, what did you, so po did police come? Did she call police on you? She ended up calling police on me. We found that out when Lolade, uh, a friend of mine, came to the common room, which was on the 12th floor of the Hall of Graduate Studies. Um, and when Lolade came back, she came back with police officers who had told her that they were looking for a suspicious character, quote unquote. Did she tell you why she felt threatened? No reason, absolutely. Why do you think she felt threatened? I think race was involved, clearly. Uh, there is a uh, policy in which you have to kind of just use your residence key to um, use the elevator within the graduate hall. So, of you, so uh, this is what I want to know. So to get into the hall, do you ha is there, there security or there's a locked door, right? Is it to get? Yeah, the to, doors are locked. I mean, the there's door. security passes that you got to go through. Okay, and then and then even to get on the elevator, you would have to have a resident key. And this same woman. Uh, Sarah Brash invited me onto the elevator, asked me which floor I was getting off of, and when we got to the 12th floor, she went downstairs. But at no point throughout our entire ride did I even communicate with her beyond the fact that I was going to the 12th floor. So uh, you um, and, and Lola Day released a joint complaint, and here's, I just wanted to part of it said, uh, calling the police on a black student because he is lost in any in any part of HGS and the wider Yale campus is an act of violence. Just because a Yale student is lost does not make that individual an intruder. Sending four policemen to the common room in my residence because a black Yale student is lost is an act of violence because of the history of, the st of state sanctioned executions uh, of faultless black men, women, and children. She called it an act of violence. Do you see it that way? It is definitely an act of violence, not just simply racial profiling, but it sends a message to many black students who experience these microaggressions all the time. That what Sarah told me, you don't belong here. How does that make you place, feel? This is the place I call home. I mean, I've come to Yale not just for the amazing resources, but the support that I have with just so much faculty and so much um, Black Graduate Network support that has coalesced around me, and uh, Lodale and I, excuse me, and to, to see that this can happen at any given moment at Yale is problematic. But not only at Yale. I mean, we saw what happened in Philadelphia. We saw the women on the golf course. We saw the women in Rialto, California for the Airbnb and on and on and on. Um, I mean, you're, you're hitting the point, Don. I mean, we know that you, you can't drive while black in America. We see that with Philando Castillo. You can't walk around at nighttime while black. We see that with Trayvon Mountain. And now you can't nap while black? That's my friend Lola. There's an issue that needs to be addressed and that needs to have not only just a conversation within the Yale community, but a nationwide conversation. Mm. When is the black person allowed to just be in spaces?